You probably started to see them already flying around. Once again, it is love bug season. And if you're new here to Tampa Bay and you've got some questions, 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser is live at the Woody's Wash Shack in Tampa, which Eric becomes very popular this time of year. Man, Josh, you are not kidding. This Woody's location tells me that on a day like today during love bug season, they will see probably about 800 cars come through more even on the weekend. It's not unusual, they say that when you see business booming because the number of love bugs is too. No, I love them. I mean, it's a, it's a, I mean, as you can see, it's a nonstop all day long. Sure, folks who operate your local car wash love love bugs, but ask just about anyone else how they feel about the paired up pests, and they'll tell you. Hate them. <laughs> Wish we didn't have them. Hate them, obviously. Yeah, they're just uh, always all over the car. Those Placea Neartica, as they're scientifically called, are making more love bugs. Swarming into our region this time of year, they don't live long, they don't bite or pose any real harm to humans, but they sure can mess up a radiator grill or punish a paint job. Yeah, they got me pretty good over here. I usually see flies, so seeing love bugs is kind of, it's new to me. I have no problem with the love bugs except they, the damage they do to my car. The wind chill isn't going to do any damage. Moses Pomales with Woody's Wash Shack says within 24 hours, acids in those squashed love bugs can start to eat into your car's paint job. So it's important to clean them off quickly. For those without the time or budget to get a car wash that often, Pomales offers a few DIY love bug hacks. Try using one of those Dobe sponges that won't scratch your paint. A damp dryer sheet works pretty well too. And now would be a smart time to apply a coat of wax. That's your best defense for it because there are you cannot avoid them, they're coming. Some folks thought maybe love bugs had disappeared during COVID. We hardly saw them, but experts say that's because there were far fewer cars on the road. And the only thing love bugs love as much as each other is the heat and carbon dioxide generated by heavy traffic. The cars are now back and so are the bugs. No, I don't love them, but I like them because they're the cre they're creatures of the earth. They support each other, yeah, they love each other. Hence the name, right? Hence the name, absolutely. By the way, a terrible rumor and myth out there is that somehow or another, love bugs were created from mosquitoes inside a lab at the University of Florida. That is not true. They actually came from South and Central America, moved their way up into states like Florida and Texas and all along the Gulf Coast. Again, the fortunate thing here is, is that once here, they don't last that long in season, usually around May, and then look for them again in September.